टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट सिंगल पॉइंट कटिंग टूल टू अंडरस्टैंड सिंगल पॉइंट कटिंग टूल हियर आई ड्रॉ लाइन डायग्राम फॉर अ सिंगल पॉइंट कटिंग टूल दिस इज सिंगल पॉइंट कटिंग टूल इन सिंगल पॉइंट कटिंग टूल देयर आर टू कटिंग एजेस फर्स्ट वन इज साइड कटिंग एज एंड द सेकेंड वन इज एंड कटिंग एज दीज मीट एट अ पॉइंट दिस पॉइंट इज नॉन एज टू रेडियस बिकॉज इन दिस सिंगल पॉइंट कटिंग टूल देयर आर टू एजेस बट दे मीट एट अ सिंगल पॉइंट सो और फॉर अ कटिंग वी प्रोवाइड अ साइड कटिंग एज मोस्टली बी यूज साइड कटिंग एज फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ कटिंग सो ड्यू टू दिस दिस एंगल इज नॉन ए सिंगल पॉइंट कटिंग एज इफ बी ड्रॉ मल्टी पॉइंट कटिंग टूल इन मल्टी पॉइंट कटिंग टूल वी प्रोवाइड नंबर्स ऑफ सिंगल पॉइंट कटिंग टूल मीन्स मल्टी पॉइंट कटिंग टूल इज ऑल्सो अ सिंगल पॉइंट कटिंग टूल इफ बी टेक ओनली वन कटिंग एज ऑफ आ मल्टी पॉइंट कटिंग टूल we count these edges in a groups so due to this these tools is known as multi point cutting tool this is for the milling or this is miller diagram of a miller to understand the actual diagram for a single point cutting tool i added a clip so from you can understand that clip but before that we understand about some points related to single point cutting tool this is known as shank or holder for a single point cutting tool the part behind the this portion is known as shank or the holder by this we hold this tool in the holder due to this this is known as holder the above portion of this tool is known as face these are flanks or be known as side flank and the second one is end flank this is side cutting edge and may be mostly prefer this is for the cutting purpose this is end cutting edge at that point the meat is known as nose radius so this is some basic information for a single point cutting tool you can see it in a clip so you watch okay we're going to look at some cutting tool geometry like you would find on a lathe so as you seen in a clip this portion is some amount of tilted from the shank of the tool if you want more clearly then you can see again by repeating the videos this is known as face of the tool this portion some tilted in some tilted amount from the shank and this is side flank and the end part of the tool is known as end flank so this is about single point cutting tool in this if we cut this tool by a different different plane then we can obtain different different angle for a single point cutting tool if we cut this tool perpendicular to base this is known as base of the tool and blow part or the bottom part of the shank is known as base if we cut this tool perpendicular to base and parallel to width then we obtain two angle first one is side rack angle and the second one is side relief angle we cut if we cut the tool perpendicular to base and parallel to bit i am playing clip so you can understand easily or more clearly so you watched clip we're going to cut the tool with three different planes. The first plane will orient like this and we'll cut through the tool. That will give us a cross section that looks like this. Now we'll look at that straight on. So here's that cross section straight on. The important angles in this view are the side rake angle and the side relief angle. 
as you seen if we cut this by a plane parallel to bit and perpendicular to base then we obtain two angle that is side rack angle and the second one is side relief angle side rack angle it is the angle between the face of the tool and a line draw parallel to sink i am talking parallel to sink the reason is that if we insert this tool in a tilt way then this sink will always remain parallel so we can say parallel to sink because if we fit this tool in a tilt way then it will not parallel to horizontal so i am using the word sink parallel to sink so it is the angle between the face of the tool and the parallel if we draw a line parallel to sink then this is known as side rack angle side relief angle it is the angle between the side cutting is it is the angle between the side flank which is immediately below the side cutting is and a line draw perpendicular to base from the side cutting is then this angle is known as side relief angle i repeat it is the angle between the side flank which is immediately below the side cutting is and a line drawn from the side cutting is perpendicular to base this is known as side relief angle so this is for the perpendicular to base and parallel to width view if we take a second part and cut a tool parallel to base or we can say by a plane which is horizontal if we cut this by a horizontal plane which is parallel to base you bust clip then then you can understand more easily or more clearly you bust now we'll cut through the tool horizontally we get a cross section that looks like this and then we'll turn this and look at it straight on when we look straight down on the tool like this we can see the end cutting edge angle the nose radius and the side cutting edge angle you can also see the nose angle as you seen in a clip if we cut a tool parallel to base or by a horizontal plane then we get obtain two angle that is side cutting is angle and a end cutting is angle and one more point that is nose radius this is at in between the end cutting edge and the side cutting is side cutting is angle it is the angle between the side cutting is and a line drawn parallel to sink or holder of the tool and the end cutting is it is the angle between the end cutting is and a line drawn perpendicular to base and in horizontal direction from the holder sorry parallel to or perpendicular to sink but in horizontal direction so this is end cutting is angle this is be obtained if we cut the tool parallel to horizontal or parallel to base or by a horizontal plane so here we obtain two angle that is end cutting is angle and the side cutting is angle and if we cut the tool by a plane which is perpendicular to base if we cut this by a plane which is perpendicular to base and parallel to length if we want to see it in more clear then you can watch in a clip so you watch for the last cut we'll cut vertically along the axis of the tool the cross section is going to look like this and we'll look at that cross section straight on here we see the back rake angle the wedge angle and the end relief angle as you seen in a clip if we cut this tool perpendicular to base and parallel to length then we obtain two angle that is back rank angle and the end relief angle back rank angle is the angle between the face of the tool because this is face of the tool these are flanks 
So we obtain back rake angle. It is the angle between the face of the tool and the line drawn parallel to sink. Then we obtain back rake angle. And the next one is end relief angle. It is the angle between the end flank and the line drawn perpendicular to base from the end cutting edge. Then we obtain end relief angle. And we obtain this view by cutting single point cutting tool in a plane which is perpendicular to base and parallel to length. So this is about the single point cutting tool in B seen side break angle, side relief angle, end cutting edge angle, side cutting edge angle, end relief angle and back angle. And we obtain one more point that is known as nose radius. So by cutting by different different plane, we can obtain different different angle for a single point cutting tool. So this is about single point cutting tool.